Welcome to Sportslink Replay Iowa City Edition. It was a lousy day from the weather and not much of a better day for the Ball State Cardinals as for the first time in 61 games, almost five years, the Cardinals were shut out, Kyle. Yeah, the Cardinals did not play well, barely even had a chance to score, didn't even get in field goal range, just a very crummy day all around offensively and defensively. Ball State was missing two offensive linemen, one with an injury, one missed the game due to team reasons, and that didn't help. Iowa has two of the best defensive ends in the country and maybe the best defensive line in the country, and they really got to Kelly Page and Keith Wenning all day, and you'd hope the running game would work. Well, they averaged about 1.6 yards per carry. The offensive line for the Cardinals did not do a great job. When you're missing two key guys, it causes a big problem, especially against that great defensive line. Another injury riddled day for the Cardinals. Zane Fakes will be out for the year. Eric Williams a little bit stung up. You'd want to be healthy heading into Central Michigan. Ball State's not exactly that. Eric Williams went out with a stinger, but luckily he'll be back for next week. Very scary moment, but he came back into the game healthy. Next week, the Ball State Cardinals head to Mount Pleasant, Michigan to take on the defending MAC champion Central Michigan Chippewas. For Kyle Binder, I'm Pat Boylan. This has been Ball State Sports Link Replay.